Hello everyone, I welcome all of you to the India Meteorological Department Daily Weather Briefing. Myself, Arul Alan, Scientist. As on today, 8th June 2023, let us see the highlights. Monsoon has onset over Kerala today, the 8th June 2023. Further advance likely into more parts of Arabian Sea, South Peninsula, India, Bay of Bengal and Northeast India during next 48 hours. Heat wave conditions likely to continue over Bihar, Jharkhand, West Bengal, Odisha, Uttar Pradesh, Andhra Pradesh and Telangana during next 2 to 4 days. A very severe cyclonic storm, Vapor Joy, lies over the East Central Arabian Sea. So this is the satellite uh, uh, observed uh, cloud picture, like both the figures are showing that uh, clouds are over the Kerala region which we are seeing very clearly. So uh, now we are discussing about uh, uh, the progress of onset monsoon. One, one of the criteria is the cloud should show over the Kerala region and coastal region that is clearly visible. So one criteria is uh, fulfilling and the second criteria is like uh, winds should be westerlies at uh, up to middle tropospheric level as per the uh, model analysis shows that 925 hectopascal it is showing westerly with more than 15 knots and 850 hectopascal also showing westerly and 700 and 600 up to uh, middle tropospheric it shows westerly winds with more than 15 knots so this criteria also fulfill for the onset monsoon and then the uh, the another criteria like over the Kerala out of 14 st observing stations, uh, at least 12 stations should receive more than 2.5 millimeter rainfall. So this is from uh, uh, 1st June and this is the last one is 8th June. We can see that station wise listed the uh, rainfall received in the millimeter. We can see that here uh, percentage, percentage got it out of uh, how many stations received. So on 8th June, as on today, uh, 93 percentage of stations received the uh, more than 2.5 millimeter rainfall like here it is listed out and like this is the all the three criteria for uh, declaring onset of onset of monsoon over the Kerala as on June uh, first June it was 43 percentage of rainfall uh, of the stations received more than 2.5 millimeter as on 8th June it is more than uh, like 93 percentage of stations received to more than 2.5 millimeter rainfall and for the OLR it should be less than 200 that criteria also we met like on, as on today 8th June it is less than 200 and then uh, depth of the western it, it should go up to middle tropospheric level that also seen up to 600 hectopascal it has seen in the previous slide and also the uh, wind speed at 9, 925 hectopascal it should be more than 15 knots that also that criteria also we meet so that's why the IMD has declared the onset of monsoon, southwest monsoon over the Kerala as on today, 8th June 2023. Like uh, further advance of the monsoon, like we will discuss, like this is the blue line which is covering the, like today is, as on today, what is the northern limit of monsoon, right? So it is covering the uh, southern part of uh, Arabian Sea and then Lakshadweep area also over the Kerala and then southern part of Tamil Nadu and then Bay of Bengal and Northeast states. So uh, like all the conditions are favorable to declare the onset of southwest monsoon over the Kerala. So as of now, as of today, we declared it as uh, onset of monsoon over the Kerala. And further uh, significant uh, rainfall received observed over the Kerala in centimeter like uh, Ernakulam district received 11 centimeter and Trishur district received 10 centimeter and then like uh, Trishur received more than uh, 10 centimeter then further Malapuram district received 7 centimeter and uh, like Idiki district received 6 centimeter and the rest of the uh, Kerala state Kerala district received like more than five uh, Thirishur and Ernakulam received more than 5 cm as well as 4 cm received uh, rest of the uh, Kotam district and the remaining part of the uh, districts of Kerala. 
and further uh, significant uh, rainfall received over the rest part of the country like uh, Rayal Seema received more than 5 cm and Telangana received uh, 4 cm, North Interior Karnataka received uh, more than uh, 6 cm, also Andaman and Nicobar received uh, at Port Bay received 14 cm and Long Island received 7 cm and Nagaland, Manipur, Mesrom received more than 6 cm and then finally Odisha received 5 cm at uh, the respective districts. And this is the observed weather. Uh, hailstorm has been reported over the Jammu Kashmir and West, West Madhya Pradesh and uh, heavy rainfall observed over the Rayal Seema and Kerala and then a uh, heat wave uh, Severe heat wave to severe heat wave conditions uh, observed over the Bihar and then heat wave conditions observed over the Jharkhand, West Bengal and the Sikkim region. And this is the maximum observed temperature. We can see that throughout the country most of the region covering with the 36 to 38 degrees Celsius where the red colors are showing and then deep red colors covering that 38 to 40 degrees Celsius even with the patch of 40, 42 to 44 degrees Celsius over this region like covering the Bihar, Jharkhand, West Bengal, Sikkim, Odisha, Chhattisgarh and then Vidarbha and Telangana and uh, coastal Andhra Pradesh and also the uh, Uttar Pradesh regions. And this is a synaptic systems. Western disturbance uh, previously yesterday was over the Himachal Jammu Kashmir region. Now it has moved over the Uttarakhand region at 5.8 km above mean sea level. And uh, another uh, cyclonic circulations uh, can be seen over the uh, Korala, sorry, coastal Andhra Pradesh at 0.9 km above mean sea level. And uh, another cyclonic circulation rise over uh, Myanmar and uh, this. Uh, Bay of Bengal region uh, that is up to 5.8 km above mean sea level that system also lies and then a very severe cyclonic system named uh, Vipar Joy that's currently lay center at uh, this position that is uh, uh, East Central Arabian Sea. So under the, also that the monsoon progress also we have seen that with the cloud patch which is uh, nearby the Kerala. So this, this is the monsoon line which we declared it like today. So these regions are covering with the cloud and then rainfall activity. And uh, when we are discussing about the severe cyclonic uh, storm named uh, uh, Bipar Joy, that is located here and it has moved uh, 5 km per hour during past 6 hours. Okay, And then lay centered over the East Central Arabian Sea. And this is the black dot shows that are pre, uh, past observations in the last since uh, 6th June. And this is as, a, as of now today. And these are all the forecast track, which is showing that it will move, uh, it will move north, north, westward during next uh, three days. And then it will intensify further into next 24 hours. This is the uh, quadrant wind forecast along the track. With, with respect, based on this track forecast, the following uh, fisherman warning has been issued over the both the basin. Uh, the, uh, let us discuss about the, uh, this is the next five days weather warning for the so fisherman warning graphics. This is the gray color which is covering the squally weather wind speed, uh, 40 to 40 km per hour gusting to 50 km per hour covering. We can see that. Uh, Bay of Bengal and some part of the Arabian Sea in the next five days. And then if you are, uh, uh, when you are discussing about the Arabian Sea, the wind speed has gone even maximum up to gale wind speed with a speed of 140 to 160 km per hour gusting to 175 km per hour which is shown in the day one and day two at this uh, west central Arabian Sea and then covering east central Arabian Sea, these two regions. And then for the day three, it has gone uh, like the red red color re region, which is well wind speed of uh, 120 to 140 km per hour, gusting to 135 km per hour. This is the region red color covering this for the next uh, like from day three, day four, day five over the East Central Arabian Sea covering 
partly northwest arabian sea also so uh, fishermen are advised not to venture on this arabian sea because of this uh, cyclone ongoing cyclone paper joy and this is the uh, next five days weather warning over the indian country uh, let us discuss about the uh, heat wave heat wave for orange warning has been issued over the bihar jharkhand and then west bengal and sikkim for the day 1 day 2 day 3 for the uh, heat wave to severe heat wave conditions and also uh, yellow warning has been issued over the heat wave conditions for the uh, east uttar pradesh uh, odisha region and then telangana region for the day 1 and for day 2 also it is issued including the west uttar pradesh and for the day 3 that is on 10th uh, uh, uttar pradesh and odisha region also covering the heat wave uh, yellow warning region and when we are coming discussing about the heavy rainfall heavy rainfall warning has been issued over the kerala with the orange warning as on today for the day 1 and then next 5 days uh, also heavy rainfall warning has been issued over the kerala with the yellow warning and hail storm warning has been issued for the uh, sorry yeah well, uttarakhand for the day 4 and day 5 which is valid for the 11th and 12th june and the rest of the area with the green color uh, rest of the area covering for the yellow for the lightning thunderstorm activity and wind speed more than 30 to 40 km per hour thank you so we happy that we declare the onset of southwest monsoon stay tuned thank you